situation is that it's February and it's President's Day. And you're seeing a picture of Mount Rushmore. And if you are teaching middle school or high school, I may say, now, who is the only president of our country in the 20th century? Of course, it would be Teddy Roosevelt. But you're a primary class, so I'm going to ask you who the first president was. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is, when I ask you the question, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand. Now, Bob is in the room, and Bob, when you when uh, I call on you, don't give me the answer. But I want to hear how you feel when I called on Evelyn. So, here's the story. Folks, remember, it's President's Day Monday. There's no school. Now, who remembers? Looking at the pictures of Mount Rushmore, President uh, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln. Who was, who was the first president of this country? Bob. And what I hear is, oh, what happened is you all competed for my attention and only one person won. And we do that all the time. Now, what I will do is, normally I will pose a question. Now, what does posing do? It opens up to thinking. But there are cases such as this where there is one answer. In which case, I will say, turn to your neighbor and tell them your neighbor, your learning buddy, who was the first president of the United States. You see, I'm not concerned about the kids getting the attention and the approval from the teacher. I want them to get the satisfaction that they knew the right answer because they knew the right answer. When you have one student talk to another student, you get 100 participation, because we know learning is an active activity, and even a shy person will talk to one other person. So what I will do is, I'll ask a question, usually I'll pose it to get the kids thinking, but if there's one answer, such as in this situation, I'll say, turn to your learning buddy, and tell your learning buddy, in this case, who was the first president of the United States. The more you have young people collaborate with each other, instead of having them want to get the satisfaction of you know that they knew the answer, this external motivation I will refer to, the more you aim at internal motivation of getting the satisfaction from just knowing instead of from pleasing you, the more successful you will be and the greater participation you will have and the kids are going to be so much more motivated. In order to use this approach, you need to be able to get all of the students' attention immediately. This is another reason that it is imperative to have an attention management procedure we earlier talked about. And again, you can download what I used from the resource guide.